Hello all, I am Dr. Hema Vaidhinathan, Senior Consultant and Fertility Specialist at OISIS Ananagar, Chennai. It is important to gather information about IVF and understand the information completely before you take your IVF treatment. So let me tell you three important things that you have to understand before you take your IVF treatment. So the first is to, uh, to understand that there are various different IVF treatment options available. So conventional IVF that is the IVF that is commonly done is the most common type of IVF that is commonly done worldwide. But what you have to understand is that the conventional IVF option is not the only option available. So it may not be even an appropriate option for some couple. So you have to understand what are the different options available for you. So some of the options are to or the less drug intense or a less medicated or even drug free form of IVF are available. So the main three options apart from the conventional IVF options are uh, drug free IVF or in vitro maturation or mild IVF or natural cycle IVF. So natural cycle IVF is a type of IVF that involves retrieving the egg that is naturally formed in a menstrual cycle. So this type of uh, IVF option does not use any fertility medication at all. And the next is the mild IVF type which involves using a um, lesser dose of medications and even for a shorter time. And the next option you have to understand is the in vitro maturation or the drug free IVF. So in drug free IVF, there is um, uh, no use of fertility medication at all. And the next thing is it involves retrieval of that immature egg from the ovaries. And these eggs are allowed to mature in the IVF lab. So this is one of the no drug free option available for you in the IVF. So you have to understand all these options apart from the conventional IVF. So apart from this, even other options are available like egg donor IVF or sperm donor IVF or even surrogacy cycles. The next important thing to understand is the success rate of IVF. So when a clinic gives their success rate as a number in a percentage, you have to understand what that means because success rate is calculated differently by different clinics. This success rate it indicates the successful uh, number of pregnancies in that uh, clinic the higher the success rate the better is the um, pregnancy rate in that cycle but what you have to understand is the success rate given by the clinic is only an overall number so if this success rate number is not tailored to your exact circumstances it may give you some misleading picture so you have to understand success rate and also you have to understand how is it measured because some clinics measure success rate based on their positive pregnancies, some measure based on the clinical pregnancies and some measure based on their live births. So without understanding how success rate is measured, it is difficult for you to compare the success rate between different clinics. The third important thing that you have to understand about IVF is availability of add-on options. There are a lot of add-on options available for you during your IVF treatment. And let me tell you some of the add-on options. And the one most important thing is undergoing pre-implantation genetic testing for the embryos. So this tests the embryonic or the chromosomal detail of the embryos so that we can transfer normal uh, chromosomally normal embryos. And the second add-on technique is to add some sperm selection techniques, especially if the sperm quality is low in your IVF cycle. So there are various options. So you have to understand all different IVF options, all different add-on options before you consider your fertility treatment.